Murder mayhem and mystery. How does a crime writer end up with all of the fantastic ideas they come up with? I don't know. But I will tell you one thing, I ended up with a stash of really suspicious looking items. <laughs> Welcome to the Christy Gray Scarlet Pen YouTube channel. I am an author, creativity chaser, and book lover. Today I am showing you something that I affectionately call my murder box. <laughs> So I write predominantly crime fiction and I have ended up collecting a lot of items that are very suspicious. <laughs> if I wasn't a crime writer, people might consider this box a real murder box, maybe, or at the very least, dangerous. <laughs> I think that uh, as I've discovered in my quest to find out what things would really feel like, weighted, how it would feel to, to point a gun at you or to... <laughs> Zip, have your hand zip tied. I actually discovered that there are a lot of things that you can buy that are potential weapons at just a general store. Uh, most people don't look at it that way and don't look at something on the shelf and think, ooh, that would be perfect to kill somebody, which is a good thing. I'm glad. <laughs> but I've actually collected a pretty good box of really interesting things that I've used in various stories and or that are waiting to be used in various stories when it comes to murder, mystery and mayhem which is my bread and butter, for the most part. So this isn't actually my murder box, however, it goes with it because I got, believe it or not, in the kids section of somewhere, I don't remember where, but they had this kit, like a CSI kit, and it came with all these really great things. So I think there was a mini microscope. So I have my CSI uh, glasses, protective eyewear. Um, I actually can't see. I can't see anything in those. A, a, a rope, I don't know why. Fingerprint stuff. They had this really cool CSI do not cross the rope. <laughs> Which I love that they gave me that. They actually even had this, I don't know if you can see it through there and I'm not pulling it out because otherwise I'll never get any of this stuff back in. Mold powder. So if you pulled this powder out, you could mold a footprint on the ground. If I ever wanted to, I can now. This is my main murder box. Uh, just in case any random passerby was to find it, I put this really nice looking paper. <laughs> because the stuff in here is kind of suspect. So I put this paper in it. So here, at a very quick glance, is my murder box. <laughs> if you have seen my lock picking video, you'll know my lock pick set is also in here. So this is a plastic gun. But it looks a little bit more realistic than some of the others that I have seen. This was okay for a while, but I quickly realized I needed an upgrade and real guns are definitely heavier than that. They feel different. And I found this guy. It's a cap gun, but it's actually a metal bronze. You can actually open this guy and put in cap rounds. It's very sturdy. It has a lot more give on the trigger. Um, because you're actually potentially shooting stuff out of here. As opposed to this plastic guy, <laughs> you end up with a way more realistic uh, idea of what these would be like. This I actually did buy for a particular book and it was my little handheld radio. So if you haven't read my book, Kidnapped Entanglement, you can still buy it on my website or on Amazon or kurong.com.au. But I got this little radio because I wanted it for research purposes. So I actually don't think there's batteries in here at present. No, there isn't. So I can't turn it on for you. But I did want to see some things when it came to uh, handheld radios. And now if I ever wanted slash needed a handheld radio, I have one. I actually have handcuffs. So these are not real, um, but they almost look semi-real and you can tighten them as if they were real. Heavy duty rope, which I wanted for other research and my classic zip ties, which I ended up using quite a bit in my research for kidnapped entanglement. I also have this random, I think this is actually for a barbecue. So I actually did a phone smashing um, video, which you can still check out, I'll put in the link below, um, where I wanted to see what would happen if I threw a phone outside of a moving car. So I kept some bits from it. 
The other thing that I kept as well was actually some spent shells from that time when I went and shot a rifle. Again, I have that video, I'll link it below if you want to see the adventure where I went and shot a rifle for the first time and had the, I, I had a ball, the time of my life. Loved shooting the rifle, it was so much fun. Well, that's most of the stuff that I've randomly collected when it comes to being a crime writer. I get some pretty unusual stuff hanging around my house. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your favorite item that I own is and or if you own some of these things or some other suspect if people didn't know that you were <laughs> really legit items. Let me know in the comments. Let's be weird together in what we own. I'd like to hear about it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the adventures.